Hello everyone, my name is Elisa Martinez and the topic that I chose to do is butylated hydroxytoluene, also known as BHT. The reason why I chose to do BHT that is used in food is because, well, I've noticed that when I go grocery shopping, there's a lot of food products that have a long list of ingredients and I don't know what half of those ingredients are and I don't even know how to pronounce those ingredients. And so it really does make me question whether or not those ingredients are harmful, are they toxic, or are they actually beneficial to my body? And so BHT is one of those ingredients that are used in a lot of food products that are in our local grocery store. And so I really wanted to do some research on this ingredient. What is BHT? Well, BHT is an organic compound that is widely used by the food industry as preservatives. So what BHT does is that it prevents oils in foods from oxidizing and from becoming rancid. So for example, cereal. Now, BHT can be directly added to the cereal or it can be added to the plastic or wax paper liner of the packaging. And then from there, the BHT can migrate to the food and keep it fresh. That's why cereal can last for such a long time. When you check the expiration date, it doesn't expire till probably the following year or maybe even more than that. What food is BHT used in? Well, BHT is used in cereals, chips, sausage, cookies, vegetable oil, chewing gum, butter, and the list goes on. As you can see from one of the pictures, the Kellogg's cereal, BHT is one of the ingredients for freshness. And it's also used in chewing gum and chips and vegetable oil. And so really BHT is everywhere. Chances are you're going to find BHT as one of the ingredients in a lot of the food products in your local grocery store. So the controversy of BHT. Well, it has been studied where BHT may have anti-cancer properties, but BHT has also been linked to increased or sometimes decreased risk of cancer in animals. So the FDA considers BHT to be safe, but the Center for Science and the Public Interest put BHT on their caution list. So it may pose as a risk, and so it needs to be better tested. So basically what it's saying is that if you can try to avoid BHT, do it. Now, there has been a study on BHT in edible vegetable oils. So three different home cooking conditions were tested for thermal stability of BHT in palm oil samples. So by boiling or stir frying for one through 15 minutes, BHT was lost by 24 to 31%. Now for deep frying for five through 15 minutes, 46 through 62% of BHT was lost. And so basically what this is saying is that BHT is not thermally stable. In fact, it's the least thermal resistance among synthetic antioxidants. So what this study has concluded is that BHT in the oil samples was generally safe for consumption, but one sample did contain BHT over the limit. So this just ties to moderation. You know, it's not good if there was a high dose of BHT in the food. And so there just has to be that moderation and to not go over the limit. Conclusion. BHT is a synthetically aromatic organic compound. It's widely used by the food industry as preservatives. Now, there have been studies where they say that BHT is harmful because of the negative effects that has been done in animals. But there's just not enough information to say that BHT is harmful to humans. There hasn't been enough data to say that BHT is toxic. So it needs to be further studied. Now, it's all about moderation. You have to be careful how much of the ingredient is being used in the food. So for example, in the vegetable oil study, it showed that one of the samples that the BHT went over the limit. And so it's all about moderation. Now, if people don't really feel comfortable with having BHT as the ingredient being listed, then really just find other products that won't have BHT. Or there's also vitamin E that's also used as a preservative. Now, 
to end this whole thing to tie everything together it's all about doing your research on the ingredients that is being used there are so many ingredients that we don't even know what they are and we don't even know how to pronounce it and so it's so important to be aware and mindful what are we putting in our bodies we have to make those mindful decisions because it is our health that we have to think about so this is my presentation about butylated hydroxytoluene thank you very much